Okay, major chord here, uh, doing what will hopefully be the final take of this video. Um, this is what I call my everything bag. Um, through carrying this in my school bag, I have discovered that I end up carrying more crap than the average woman. But that's okay, because I probably have a lot more capability. <laughs> um, I originally put this together as a first aid kit to stash in my school bag. I figured, you know, on campus, away from home, if uh, shit hits the fan, I might want to have at least some basic medical capability. And then it kind of expanded into, you know, some stuff I'd like to have with me, a couple comfort items, you know, a what if, you know, a couple what if items, like what if I left my knife at home? Well, I think I have that covered. So, I'm going to go through a pocket by pocket. Um, you can see, it's not that big. I mean, it fits nicely in a my man satchel. Or, uh, what do one of my friends call it? A European man bag. So it fits nicely in there. <laughs> oh. um, so let's get started. Hopefully I can keep things in frame because I'm standing up here doing this review on my pool table. So hopefully I don't have to make any edits to include some stuff. In the front pocket, I keep two bags of my favorite tea. Bigelow Plantation Mint. Oh. Um, you know, if I'm on a study break or something and I want something hot, I prefer generally to make my own drinks. Oh. Um, first off, the campus coffee place is just crappy. Um, you know, we don't get a Starbucks or even a Tim Hortons. We get a Jazzman's, <laughs> which, a little off-topic and probably a little racist, but when I think of Jazzman's Cafe, our campus <laughs> coffee baked goods joint, I think of this blind, old, shriveled black man, you know, like making coffee with a saxophone, you know, strapped over his shoulder making coffee. Um, yeah, so that was Chickman's racist tidbit of the day. Um, anyway, tea. Only two bags. I can replenish it, you know. If I use it, I can replenish it when I get home. Um, in this pocket, you can see I have a metric crap ton of blood stoppers. Some butterfly closures. A um, couple band-aids. One, two, three, four, five three-by-three three gauze compresses. And a surgical sponge. Uh, my dad worked as a paramedic for more than 20 years, so we have plenty of this stuff lying around the house, and now that he's in nursing, we have even more of it. Um, and even though I never took an EMT course, or am I really certified in that, I have picked up enough from him to be able to, you know, stop bleeding. So, there's some of my first aid capability. As I said, this started as a first aid bag, and then I just kind of crammed other crap in there. Um, I don't think I have anything in this pocket. And I have a receipt. Okay. Um, <laughs> now the main pocket. Uh, you can see it's pretty filled with crap. So, start off. Um, I'll just go what's on top first. These are those little Colgate Wisp toothbrush things. As you can see, I got them for a buck thirty at Big Lots. It comes with four of them. <laughs> it, they come in handy. Um, you know freshen up if I'm out all day and I want to freshen up my breath before I go to rehearsal or something, or heaven forbid I have a date after class or something. These are nice to have. And they don't take up much space, so I'm all for hygiene. Throw those over there. Um, next down in here is a flashlight, just a simple LED flashlight. Uh, found this uh, also at Big Lots, I think, for three bucks. It runs on those, uh, you know, just the plastic thingy containing three triple A's. You know, it's not anything great, but I generally have <laughs> another light on me. So if this, get, this gets used, it'll be used by a friend or, you know, in a shit hits the fan situation. So it doesn't have to be the best, but it does its job. I keep some semblance of organization here. Or I can just throw things all over the place, which is probably what I'll do. <laughs> um, I will go, yeah, we'll go through the middle middle compartment. I don't know if you can see in there, but there are four elastic pockets and just space in the middle. <laughs> First thing I have in here is my little condiment packet. I figure, you know, it's nice to have the, this stuff on it. I have, or on me. I have just one of those instant water bottle iced tea mixes. Uh, some sugar, salt, pepper, soy sauce, and a package of ketchup. And, this is just, you know, 
I'm I'm out somewhere. I don't they don't give me ketchup wherever I get my food or whatever. It's just again stuff that's nice to have, and I have space for it. So figured I might as well uh, put it in. And that just gets folded up nicely, and it'll fit wherever I squash it, basically. Uh, next is this uh, Physician's Care First Aid Kit. I picked this up at County Com for, I think, three bucks. It is basically just Band-Aids and adhesive, uh, not adhesive, uh, alcohol uh, prep pads, and you can see what it has on it, in it. Um, they, I could assemble something like this for much cheaper on my own. I mean, I have all the supplies, but <laughs> I like that it comes in this already sealed airtight bag um, that is reusable, so if I want to restock it or add things, I can. <laughs> but it's just so flat, you know. Why not keep it on me? I can shove this in a pocket if I need to. Um, I have another one that I'll throw in my tuxedo jacket for when I do a concert. It's just, you know, some nice stuff to have. And it's, I know this stuff will be sterile. Um, you know, these pads over here, they are all sealed and sterile. Maybe a bit older, but they're still good. I've checked. But this stuff, oh, I know everything that's in here will be good. So I also keep that on me. Or in my bag. Um, in the middle again, we have, wouldn't you know it, more gauze. These are just some more 3x3 three three compresses. Um, how many do I carry on me? I never bothered to count that out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine three by three gauze compresses just in this bag alone. Um, so I can stop some pretty decent bleeding, um, whether myself or someone else. And like I said, I'm not necessarily trained in it, but I know how to do it. So why not render aid if I can? <laughs> Down more in the middle here, I have a old. Uh, I think this is an iTunes gift card with a decent amount of duct tape and some electrical tape wrapped around it. Um, I've used this rather often to fix stuff up, hold things together. It's just come in handy. And it's such a compact way to carry these. Uh, I really like it. I have, you know, credit cards with tape on it stashed in my car and uh, my car kits, places in my bedroom, just everywhere. Because you never know when you'll need it. And honestly, if you don't have room for this, what do you have room for? Um, do I have anything else down in there? Uh, okay, the only other thing I have in the middle, if I can get it out, is a combination lock. Um, not a very expensive one or high quality. It'll lock a locker. That's all I need it to do. I have a higher quality uh, master lock, a uh, twisty lock that I keep on my gym bag for when I go work out. But I figure I keep this on me just in case, um, you know, because I don't take my gym bag everywhere, and I want the better lock with that. Oh. So this will serve in a pinch. I think I found this for like two bucks at a grocery store on sale. 